Yo, what's going on guys? I am Joe Alvarez and today let's take a look at Isotope Ozone 10 Advance. So, if you don't know, Isotope just came out with Ozone 10 a couple of days ago. This is actually my first time looking at it. It's my first impression, first walkthrough. I have zero idea of what is new um, and what it looks like. I honestly just got this bad boy from splice.com. They have a three day free trial. And then as always, you can do a pay as you play or a uh, rent as you play. So you basically paying uh, for the plugin and I think monthly installments up to I think a year or two. Um, but sometimes I just kind of buy it flat out instead of paying it on a monthly basis. But anyway, let's take a first look at this and let's hear what it sounds like. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see the improvements. So let's bring up Isotope Ozone 10. Right off the bat, kind of looks the same, a little reminiscent of Neutron 4, the interface with these nice little round buttons. Uh, the maximizer looks different. Soft clip, transient emphasis looks a little different. Now you have this switches to advanced detail mode, aka the AI behind the technology. Um, the cool thing about Isotope Ozone, if you just hover above the parameter, it lets you know what it is. So this one is going to say switches to assist view, not advanced mode, but switches to assist view. So let's see, uh, let's see first what they've added. So they have the dynamic EQ, which was there. The dynamics was there, EQ1, EQ2. That's the same, exciter, imager. Impact is new. I haven't seen that before. Low end, focus, master rebalance. I can't remember if the Isotone 9 had that. Um, match EQ, I think Isotope uh, Ozone 9 had that. Spectral shaper. I believe that it's the same stabilizer is new, but I going to go out on a limb and say a lot of it behind the hood is a lot of the new AI technology that they've been developing in the past couple of years. So right off the bat, let's go and see what the AI assist can do, the assistant view. So I'm going to play the loudest part of this beat that I have that I want to master and see if Ozone 10 can do a good job at it. And then I'm going to try my hand at using this bad boy with all the new implementations they have. And again, this is my first impressions. I haven't um, seen what they've added. I just heard and knowing Isotope, they're creme de la creme. So you don't have to question that company at all. So let's engage waiting for audio and let's press play. might get a little loud so lower your speakers if you have to Let's build in your mastering chain cool isotope thinks that this target tone matching is folk it's not it's more like hip-hop pop so let's try pop, see what that sounds like. Nice, nice crispy top end. And nice punch of those. Let's try hip hop. Let's go to pop again. Nice. Sounds pretty cool. I like the hip hop. Also has a whiff match, so you can match the whiff, a dynamic match, so you can um, match the impact, match the impact maximizer. So adjust the maximizer threshold based on the measured integrated loudness. Um, and then impact scales the micro dynamic adjustment applied by the assistant. So essentially kind of a wet and dry knob it looks like. And then you have optimized for streaming, DJ player, lets you see what's going on and what's being done to the waveform. The imager, let's see. Cool, that's pretty cool. 
pretty nice for tone matching and then you can go into the detail of it with the scale the gain of all EQ filters by the assistant so basically we'll scale everything together stabilizer scales the amount of stabilizing process applied by the assistant stabilizer I'm not quite sure what that is but I'll play with it in a second see if I can figure it out Cool. And now let's see what Isotope Ozone decided to throw on this bad boy. You got the scalability, which is pretty cool. You can make this pretty big, which for my eyes really works because let's just say I stare at the screen too long and my eyes don't work like they used to. So right off the bat, the EQ was a big old, <laughs> big old bump, but the amount is down to 50%. So it seems like they're a little parallel processing. got the analog to digital which is the same you have stereo mid side left and right processing which is the same and then you have a little more control view versus just a little more uh, general view and then stabilizer I really don't know what that is um, but you have a stabilizer with different genres. You have cinematic, country, EDM, folk, hip hop, jazz, pop, reggae, R&B, and rock. Keep that on hip hop. And you got a shape amount. So let's say you can just shape the amount, adjust the overall amount of tonal correction. Okay, so the stabilizers kind of seem like it's an IA type of tonal correction tool. Uh, such as Soothe and the other plugins that are kind of in the market where they just make everything sound cool. And then Neutron also had this uh, has this kind of feature with, um, uh, I can't remember what they call it, but it's kind of like the same where it references according to um, the style you put it on or the instrument you put it on. So that sounds cool. You have speed, smoothing, tame the transients. This particular case, I don't think I need it. The transients sound pretty good. And you have your low where you can put a percentage. So you can see a lot of this is super customizable for the stabilizer. Again, I'll probably need to see the literature to see exactly what this is. But I like to sometimes just dive into it. First impressions and see what I can come up with. And you have an impact, which again, it's gonna go toward balance, punch, chill out, EDM, snare, body, hip hop, kick, emphasis. So it seems a lot like tone control. And it has a whole bunch of parameters over here that you can do in accordance to the frequencies over here. You can control how much expand above zero or compress below zero. The micro dynamics of band one. Hmm, that's an interesting way to put that. The micro dynamics of band one. Well, let's see if we can see what it sounds like. I don't really hear anything. I don't hear a difference. Let's try the mid range. Try the upper part. Hmm. I don't quite hear what it's doing, um, but then again, I might be using it wrong. This is a first impression, quick look, so bear with me here. Then you have the control of mid size, stereo amount, uh, stereo link. Uh, applies the same microdynamic adjustment to the left and the right channels. Pretty cool. Then you have a f monitoring form here from auto to bands, delta, sync. Guess that's going to let you hear what it sounds like. Hmm, we'll dive deeper into that in a later video. Imager looks different, definitely different. Um, 
a lot of these little round buttons here I feel like they change this and they change stereo eyes around still have the scopes I believe they had in the previous versions dynamic EQ feels like it looks the same to me analog digital stereo mid side left right maximizer looks a little different from the soft clip the transparent emphasis button has changed I think all the algorithms are essentially the same clip crisp balance pumping uh, modern all right and then what else they have Like rebalance, master rebalance. That's the same too. Huh, all right, so you know what? Let's, uh, let's see if I can come up with something of my own using the new features and I can figure it out. So I'm gonna delete everything. Start out with a EQ. there and a little touch there cool now they put impact there first so I'm gonna try to see if I can experiment with that oh there you go it seems like it's kind of wanting to tr uh, shape the transients or compress in accordance to this envelope here. So it sets, to quick, sets how quickly a micro dynamic adjustment would return to the bass line. Okay, so this is more like, I had to guess the impact of the transient and the different transient information within the track. So it makes sense why you will put some of the mid and the low down so you don't have too much uh, transient information there. You want the transient information at the top. Yeah, I can I can hear that now. Cool, and let's do stabilizer since that's the new one in town. Let's see if I can figure this out as I go. I'm going for a hip hop vibe. I am going to leave everything here. Let's play with the amount. And now let's cut. Bypass it. All right, keep it. <laughs> Gotta do a little more homework on that, but that sounds pretty cool. And then next I wanna go with a um, little vintage comp, but I'm gonna put that over here before everything. Oh, that's cool. They changed this button. It looks pretty cool to me. Just gonna do a little bit of Compression, medium attack, slow release, take that off auto. Just gonna kiss it right there and then bring it up about a dB. after sounds good now let's do a little bit of some low-end focus go for some punch just a little bit 17 to 1 point uh, plus 1 db and then let's go some exciter i like to excite everything at the top and then around 3k and then everything to like 300 keep this as is A little more crispy so got the exciter and then the last step i like to use is 
Imager. Image is definitely different. It seems a little a little different here. Recovery sides. Don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna turn it on anyway. Recovery sides, adjust the gain of the recovery side signal. All right, so the sides, I'm gonna take it from the mid to the side. It's gonna be a little different. Over here, down here. Cool. Gonna go down there, and then down here, we're gonna go a little more mono. Open it up, this is before, this is after. Nice, and then let's hit it with a little maximizer. I like to go to modern. Emphasize a little bit of the transients and a little bit of soft clipping. a pretty competitive of uh, comp pretty competitive level about 10 I love Zam RMS about 10 Let's push it a little more to see how that sounds I think I need to keep it transparent so there you have it that's my first impression looking at this bad boy seems pretty cool there are a couple of new features not a ton the graphic user interface got a little bit of a refresh a little touch up but not a hundred percent like uh overhaul it's still it's still isotope they still gradually make changes and they make some great changes so i'm looking forward to really diving into the impact stabilizer um all the new ones those are the new ones that i've seen i know they change the switch to uh, assist view a little bit um, is definitely different. And so um, if I remember correctly, I might be remember, remembering it wrong, but so far it sounds good and it looks good. And that's what Isotope does. They always have creme de la creme plugins. They always sound great, always professional, always top of the line. So let me know what you guys think. Leave those likes, leave those comments. Please subscribe. It definitely helps me out, keeps me motivated, keeps me grinding. Appreciate you guys. Peace.